Hello, Grandma Daisy here. And I'm still so got over my clean floor that the girls came over and did for me that I thought, hey, why not do a vlog? You know, mess up the kitchen. <laughs> um, yeah, have to go back to work tonight. But uh, I volunteered for this one before I knew I was going to be working the other one for my son. But anyway, I was so frozen today. Oh my gosh. You know, we don't usually get like single digit sub-zero weather in Missouri. At least not for more than like a couple of days. And then it warms back up above freezing. So my hope is that during this Christmas, in the interim between Christmas 2017, that's what it is, and New Year... 2018, which is where we're in the middle of, that this might be the worst of the cold we've got. One great thing I found out was I tried, and if you follow my vlogs religiously, one of the things I found out is I tried to use that uh, tape to stop the leaking on my hose that runs into my house, because if you're new, you might as well know, I don't have water in my house. My pipes froze three years ago and broke, but I have the money to fix them now. Problem is, it's the holiday season and no one wants to come out and fix an old woman's pipes in the frozen zero weather. I suppose there's really not much sense in it now if it's this cold, you know, to try to run water. So, But that hose is still leaking out there into the bucket that I water the animals with. And even though it got down to one degree last night, since that water's running, it didn't freeze. So everybody has plenty of water and that... <laughs> I'm ahead of the game, guys. Way ahead of the game. Scudner, leave the cat alone. Oh, boy. They've got Wildcat cornered. She's my little Wildcat that runs around here. Hang on. Scud, cat, dog, break, shoot, cat. Angus, you were the instigator on that one. Oh, yes, he was. Yeah, we've had to close up the house because of the cold, of course. And so I found I found my jingly house shoes. I found them too late for Christmas Day. <laughs> oh my goodness. So we yeah, got crackers of munchy things. I'm going to need something ketogenic to stay awake all night at work tonight and party with the Hardys, the little guys that like to sleep during the day and stay up all night. And some of them don't even sleep during the day. They just don't sleep. Is there something you can do to take a shot so we just never have to sleep again? We can work 24 hours a day. I'm surprised someone's not working on that one. Because I'd probably end up having to take it. I used to love to sleep. As I recall, I needed 10 or 11 hours a day. But once you give it up for 10 or 12 years, you're good. So, let's see, what are we going to do? Oh, I'm thinking ketogenic crackers. Nothing could be easier. <laughs> I say that a lot, don't I? So I'm going to get this stuff together and show you really quick how to throw crackers together. Yes, this is a dehydrator recipe, but you can put your oven on low, crack the door, and dry them in the oven. And the nice thing about it being zero weather, that it will also warm up your kitchen, which is what I'm planning on it doing to mine. <laughs> because I could use more heat. Yes, I have heat. I have floor heaters, and I've got my living room sealed off, so it's warm in there, and the rest of the house is above freezing. If I'm above freezing, menopause kicks in, and I'm good to rock and roll. I hope wherever you are, you're comfortable. So, hang in there. We're going to do the ketogenic crackers real quick. We've probably done it before, but I'll probably do it differently since I never do the same thing the same twice. You know how it is. All right, guys, hang on. So here it is. Your daily dose of frozen cuteness. <laughs> See, everybody's okay. Don't worry. Daddy's on top of the stump eating. And Scudner, why in the world can that dog with no hair come out here and stand to be in the cold? I do not know. Yes. Everybody's doing great today and it's just way too cold to be out here. Come on, Scud, let's go inside. Thought maybe you'd like to see Mark. Kissing me, Merc. He's just about outgrown the aquarium. <laughs> beep, 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 beep. Hey, Merc. How you doing, son? He says, I'm doing great. I got great food this morning. Got clean water. I'm going to get my cage cleaned out today. I think. 
Jingle bells, jingle bells. My feet are jingling. <laughs> okay. Oh, I think I actually a little cocked up to the side there. All right. And I'm back. Okay. Crackers. Keto crackers. The thing I have found about crackers is it really doesn't matter. My hair is static again. Is that as long as you're using uh, one of the, I can't say this word, mucilogenic, mucilaginous, mus all right, one of the things that gets slimy, like chia seeds or flax seeds, and since I haven't been able to wash dishes in a while, we're going to do this in a paper throwaway bowl. That's the way it gets when the water freezes. Okay, so I'm going to put in about, I don't know, what is that, two tablespoons probably in this thing? As long as it's equal amounts, what does it matter? That's chia seeds. And to that I'm going to add the same amount of flax seed. I could just use one, I could just use the other, whichever you like. And now that is going to kind of give us that viscous <laughs> sort of uh, <laughs> thing that we want for doing the dehydrated crackers. Plus, black seed and chia seeds are really good for you. Now you can add any kind of nuts you would like. In this case, I like raw sunflower seeds. So I'm just going to put in another equal amount of raw sunflower seeds. I'm just doing a small batch. Just so you can kind of get the idea and you can run from there. I also just happen to have some pumpkin seeds here. They're shelled and they're raw. So I'm going to, I used to do raw food all the time, so I have quite a bit of these in my freezer. And I'm going to put in the same amount of the pumpkin seeds. Now, crackers are never any good without salt. So you put in however much salt you think you'd like. I, I'm going to put in a good heavy teaspoon to that amount because I kind of like my crackers salty. Uh, I also like my crackers to be a little oniony. Not ginger. Oh, what have we got here? I don't, do I have my glasses? Yes, I do. Thank you. Oh, hey, I like dill. This is dill seed. So you see how that is? I just found some dill. I'm going to put a teaspoon of dill in there. Oh, I love dill. Onion and dill is good together. If I find the onion, I'll do that. If I don't, I won't. I got Italian seasoning. You could do Italian. I've got chili powder. You could do chili ones. More chili powder. What, I think I was going to run out of chili powder or something? My goodness. Well, here you go. Here's some dried garlic. Ooh, garlic dill. All right, now we're talking. I'm going to put in a half a teaspoon of garlic. All righty. See how that goes? Just whatever you got, throw it in. It'll work just fine. This is water. H2O, yes, it's for those of you that if you're going to be storing water, here's a little hint. I save my bleach bottles, cap them up, rinse them really good, and then put water in them for when we have days when there's no water. That's what you do. And I'm just going to pour this water in here. Now these are going to be crunchy, kind of like a... I covered it and then covered it again. So like if you have this much of your seeds, Cover it with that much water. Um, I think I give it a stir. Tell you what I can also do with this. You can leave it chunky and rustic. I love that term. It's not chunky, it's rustic. You can leave your crackers rustic. Or you can do what I'm going to do, and I'm going to throw this in my blender and kind of blend it all together. Because I want them a little less than rustic. I want them a little finer. So I spared you having to listen to the... Uh, <laughs> thing. I just hate that. And I'm going to bring you over here and let you look at this. Blender. I thought it was what it's called, finding blender. Okay, now I said equal, you know, water above the seeds, and this is what you'll get. This kind of thickish, but yet still thin. You got your seeds and things all in there. Now, the best thing to do now is to taste it. Oh! Perfect. Now, how did I do that the first time? Usually, you have to add more or less to it. Dill, garlic, it's delicious. All right, now I'm going to put it on the sheets right away before it gets any thicker. 
because it will sit there and thicken up. Hopefully I don't fall over my jingle bells and on my face. Make too many people happy. All right, just take little dollops of it and put it right on your parchment paper, something non-stick. I parchment paper would be probably the best for ovens, especially, and just make little dollops all over it. You can pat them down if you want. You can make them round. You can make them square. <laughs> I just put them on there and they take whatever shape they're going to take. If your mixture starts getting too thick and it starts kind of like you know, mounding up and it looks like it's going to be too thick of a cracker, add just a tiny bit of water. It's, it's real simple. And this is going to make, even though it's a small batch, it's going to make quite a few. And I'm going to take these to work with me tonight to munch on and to share when my little man gets up and runs around thinking it's morning at 2 a.m. <laughs> I guess not all of us were meant to sleep at night. I know I certainly have never really been one to sleep all night, although I did stay in my bed when I was younger. I didn't get up. Uh, and I know when the sun came up and it was time to go to school, that's when I slept the best. <laughs> I can remember mom coming down the hallway and you just dreaded that light coming on. It was like having a nuclear explosion behind your eyeballs. Like, bomb, you know. Wake up! Oh my gosh. And if you didn't wake up, eventually something worse had happened to you. Whether it was whiskers being rubbed on your face, which you did not want, or <laughs> air horn going off. Whatever it took, my mom would accomplish getting you up for school. And I did not argue with her. You see the little dollops on there, kind of flattish? This one's stained. It's stained with jello. I've been dehydrating jello. But as you can see now, as I'm going along here, it's getting thicker on me. And I am going to go ahead and add just a teaspoon or so of water. Because I want to keep it a little bit on that thin side. And I'll probably be doing some more of these. Um, I was even uh, considering doing some like cheesy onion ones. Um, I was going to grate up some extra sharp cheese real fine and add it in here. Uh, as long as you've got your, you know, ones that are kind of thickened up. Now since these are getting thicker, I'm going to spread them out with the bottom of the spoon. I like this little plastic spoon here for doing this. It's got a nice flat bottom on it. So you'll have the ones that get thicker will or thicker in the you know viscous department. They'll be a little thicker when they dry. English. So many words that mean the same thing. Okay. Here we go. We'll put the rest of that on there. Smash it out flat. That's going to be a big chip right there. We'll just, we'll make one giant one for mankind. And in they go. I'm going to dehydrate these until they're crispy. I don't know how long that's going to take. I'm going to set it for 10 hours, but I will check on it after I probably take another nap because i got to go back to work tonight. There you go, guys. Crackers. Like I said, Cookie sheet, parchment paper in the oven as low as it'll go. Leave the oven cracked. You can also do it that way. And I hope that you enjoy making your own different flavors of crackers. You can make them plain. You can make them salt and pepper. You can make them garlicky, oniony. You can even make them cheesy. So uh, enjoy making crackers. I wish I was staying home all day. I just do nothing but make bags full of crack keto crackers. <laughs> No, I don't know how many carbs. You'll have to look them up, huns, uh, baby dolls. I know that chia and flax seeds are good for you, and I know that they don't up your glycemic index. So that's what I've been told, and that's what I've read, and that's what I've heard. If you've heard something different, feel free to comment below. And have a lovely day wherever you are in the world. I hope you're warm. And uh, we're just going to power through this cold snap until the water unthaws, and we can get back to work. And I love you all. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to keep up with the insanity. And we'll be getting back with you 
Later.